Norman Hayes. It's absolutely blowing a hurry, but hi, welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome to Scotland. Old oh, man's up. I'm absolutely psyched to be on the Scottish borders at the minute. It's been months trying to get this trip together and finally we're here. It has taken a little bit longer today to get here than I anticipated. Four hours turned into seven and a half. Probably because I thought it'd be a good idea to drive up here on a Friday afternoon. It wasn't. But either way, we're finally here. Although we're not actually finally here because I've still got another two hours to drive to get to the spot that I want to get to for tonight. But it is what it is. This trip is going to be amazing. I've got so many things planned. Mountains, locks, beaches, amazing park ups. And we're going to do the Cairngorms, which is the area I'm heading to proper justice i hope over the next couple of weeks for now though i'm going to be heading as i said north a little bit above edinburgh i've got a wicked looking car camping spot for the night where we can cook up hopefully a decent feed it is a two hour drive though so we do need to get a regular I've drove 10 hours and there's a sign saying this road's closed. Oh my days. I don't know man. I'm just going to drive up and find out. It's a mile and a half. Oh mate. And we're now on like bumble fluff single track lanes. Do you know what I mean? They're not good roads eh? I don't know if there's going to be a place to turn around. This is probably not the best idea if I'm honest. Oh, I'm just going to say it. These are not the Scottish roads I'm used to. These are atrocious. It's all potholy, man. Big holes. Oh, not cool. And, oh, Jesus. Even if we can get up here, I don't know there's going to be space. There's only like a handful of spots, apparently. I don't know. This is all turning into a bit of a disaster. Let's just get up there. Into the fog we go, you know. Damn. Summertime. And, oh mate, where is it? Should be a left turn somewhere. Oh, this is insane. Look at the state of this. What's going down with the fog? Oh, seasonal adjustment, I don't know. Mate, oh my days, what is this? Oh, legend. Oh no, there's a sign up. Oh, tell me you can park here overnight for God's sake. Oh my days, you got to pay a tenner, are you joking? Oh my god. What a nightmare. There's no way I'm paying £10 to park here. We haven't even got a view, it's dead fogger. There is, good news, a backup plan. There's a place called Loman Hills. It's an area for sort of parking for going hiking. You're supposed to have to pay there, but from what I've heard a few days ago, the pay machine's been taped up and you can stay there for free. It's a 15 minute drive all the way back down that bloody hill. I'm gonna give it a go. It's gotta be a better option than this. Okay, this is not the spot, but I just thought I'd check this out on the way down here. Well, I've just passed it, obviously. It looks <laughs> popular. I'm not being funny. This could be a winner for the night after 10 hours of driving. I'm honestly not too fussed about a view. I just need to know if we've got to pay. I wanna know why there's so many people here. Bear with. Well, great news. It's free parking and it's legit okay to park here. And on top of that, it's welcomed because it's Scotland. Hence why there's so many campers here. You gotta love it, man. It's a little spot called Falkland or something, or it's a little bit outside a town called Falkland. I think there's about three or four spots around here. 
I'm happy to find this one though. The last thing I wanted to do tonight was be driving around in the dark looking for spots. So happy days on this. And mwah, it's got a full phone signal. We'll scope out one of the other ones tomorrow because like I said earlier, that's where the hiking is that I'm going to actually do tomorrow. But I've got to tell you for now, I really need to get some food on. I've had an egg and peg sandwich all day and I thought I'd do something traditionally Scottish. It isn't. I'll hold my hands up because I haven't had the time to get the ingredients. But I will be shopping for them, square sausages and haggis. Oh yeah, bring it on. But for now, I thought I'd do something to sort of honour a hearty Scottish meal. Because let's be honest, in Scotland, talking food there's one thing that they do do really well and that's meat venison beef whatever it is their meat is fantastic especially the square sausages so i thought i'd basically just chuck a load of meat on my plate tonight with sausage bacon sneak a bit of black pod some eggy pegs and some mondo sized giant uber tastic mushrooms mate i'll just need to get it fried in it i am absolutely famished let's get it on good news as well because we're handling so much meat, I've come prepared. Check this out somewhere. I don't know where they are. Might be in this one. No. Maybe this one. No. There's a lot of munchies. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> There's spice wax growing. Uh, not that one. Yeah, boy. There they are. Fresh rubbers, you know. Yeah, and it's fair to say I've started utilising the space up yonder as well. Oh, <laughs> wicked, mate. Right? Got loads of stuff with me. Really hope I've not forgot it. Kind of funky as well, these ones. One of you guys sent them over. Check it out, look. they got Chinese writing on them. Definite rejects from the old air. Uh, woo that COVID thing, you know, you know, the old pandemic. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what you guys get up to in your spare time. Oh, not rubbery, but smooth. Oh, these are going to be a nightmare to open. Oh, gold. Yep, that's not happening, is it? Oh, yeah, you know. What? Oh, mate. Mum? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I've done one. Oh, there's no chance of me doing the other bloody one with my hand on that one, though, is there? That's not going to work. One-handed. It's like trying to wipe your bum one-handed or something, you know what I mean? Not that I use both my hands, but do you know what I mean? Like, do the whole shitting with one hand. Toilet roll and everything. Well, I guess you do, don't you? Oh, and I could do that as well. Legend! Right, me time. You know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Kids, if you're ever in the kitchen and you catch your mum handling some meat and it looks something like that, just make sure she's wearing rubbers because you don't want that jizzy meat all over your hands, do you? Know your mums. And if your dad ain't around, best you don't tell him. Just say him. It's not lying. It's just withholding the truth. Anyway. We're on. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm using the single burner cooker and not the double, <laughs> yeah, I did forget some things, namely the gas for that cooker. Good news, I've got a shed load of gas for this one. I guess we should do this the high sir way, shouldn't we? And put a lid on. Game on. Right, I think, oh, some of it's still got some colour to it, so let's get it served up. Well, I've got to be honest as well, I think I'm going to boss this into a Scooby snack, you know. A bit of bacon. Ah. Ow. Oh, the sausage on there and all. Uh, they're well done. We're never getting this in three slices. This Kai is another one. Good news as well. First time ever, I think. I brought butter. Oh, treat myself VIP style. Oh, I want some of this as well. Look at this bad boy. Tommy relish, but not any Tommy relish. Peppery and sweet corn. Oh my days. Oh crap. Yeah, okay. Oh man, it's got sweet corn bits in it. That's definitely getting stuck in the tube or the uh, the pipe like they do. Well, let's go with the grease tastic egg. Bit of bad boy black pudding. Oh yeah. And a juicy mugger. Wicked mate. Oh wait. That way up. Ah, oh, wicked. An old school Scooby snack for the start of Scotland. It don't get much better than this. I think I'm going to munch this up. Watch a bit of TV and get me head down for the night. I don't think we'll have any 4 befores or uh, quad bike circle in the car tonight. I think we should be alright. I'll catch you in the morning. Wicked, mate. We're in Scotland. It starts here on the site. Fucking hey. Can't even get my mouth around that. Damn. I'm not saying cement. 
Morning. Gotta say it, absolutely chuffed as a chuffing chuffer to be waking up in Scotland. Even the stowaway stoked this morning. I don't know where he came from. I think he's uh, it's a cat scratch. It's not a spot. He's never going to get rid of it on this trip, am I? But more importantly, the spot. Mate, what a legend of a place. Surrounded by nature and more importantly, happy days for campers and vans check this place out there's three car parks here and in the day anyone can park anywhere but this area at night is designated just for motor homes and camper vans and i.e car campers this is what england and wales need a hell of a lot more of but that's the beauty of scotland and that's why i'm here because i absolutely love it because they welcome overnighting up here and getting out in nature which is what we're all about today mate i'm going to make a big start of the scotland trip today we're in a little area here near the lomond hills not to be confused with loch lomond which is way further west and the beauty of this area is and why i stopped here is because it's got stuff to explore i.e up in the hills with amazing views and heights and trails but more importantly it's kind of the halfway point between the border and the big guns cairngorms from here in is still a two-hour drive so in my mind places like this they get overlooked so much because people just rush up to the big guns and they're well worth exploring and checking out as you can see they're also a little bit popular but today i'm gonna do exactly that there's that car camping spot i mentioned and a top looking night it's in the lomond hills the crib's ready to rumble i'm psyched to go let's get it on mate pretty good lead into this spot all through the countryside and only a couple of miles from where we were parked if I'm honest just through the village and then up into the hills and boom we're here gonna be interested to see if it's legit for overnighting around here it does look popular mm. two hours free parking with a display ticket oh okay it's kind of cool free parking what Daytime parking, 7 till 10. Seasonal adjustment. Oh, the pan display machine's been, well, it's available. There was a picture on Park for Night where that had all been covered up only a few days ago. Not anymore. Gutted. Nightmare. Check this out. Same kettle of fish. £10. Overnight parking, 8 o'clock. Restricted to five vehicles only using certain bays. £100 fine. <gasps> No way, 60 quid. <laughs> yeah, I shan't be risking it for a biscuit at any of them spots. And I had considered it, if I'm honest, but yeah, not 60 or 100 pound fine, no chance. Right, let's get the shiznit together. Let's get on the trail, mate. Wicked. What the fraggle? Doggo was here? Ah. I know about it. I'm going to hold my hands up. One of you guys messaged me, said you were going to ransack me. And yeah, there you go, dog over here. And you know what? I think it'd be rude not to carry you and take you all the way through Scotland as well before I uh, take you off. Wicked, mate, dog over here. If you see me around, stick your sticker. Just saying. More importantly for now, ba boom, the Lomond Hills, or what's locally known as the Paps of Fife. We've got a good one, to be fair. I've done my research. It's about five mile out and back. Choices, I was going to go East Lomond Hill, but this one takes us to the West Lomond Hill. It should have decent views, but it is absolutely blowing a hooli. So yeah, we'll see how we go, but it's just going to be nice to get out into the hills, man. And I was going to wear the kilt today. Yes, I've brought one with me, but no, today is not the day for it. So yeah, it's coming, but not now. You know, sometimes in life, when things just click into place and feel like they they should be, well, first gate of the trip, you know, and I've already tested it. <laughs> yeah, mate. This is bringing the good vibes. Pause. Everything gonna be all right. 
Fuji light in the dance tonight. Everything gonna be all right. Yes, mate. It's not the best of squeaky gates, but it did have one, and I'm having it large, mate. What a great start to the trip, and what a great backdrop for the start of the trip. This is what it's all about. Look at these colours behind me, man. Greens and almost purples, the heath and heathers and the moorlands and, of course, the bogs. Yeah, man, I'm hoping to get a snip and touch of all of it. I've got some great ones planned for this trip. Some big ones, some unusual ones, some famous ones and some that hopefully people never go to that are going to be sneaky little gems. I'd plan to rush my way through the whole trip and just smash it. And already now today, nah, I'm going to take my time and enjoy it. That's what it's all about, eh? I don't get up to Scotland as much as I'd like. So I don't want to rush. Take my time, man. I'm become one with it, dude. Couple of days, man. We'll be half naked with a kill. Loving it. <laughs> Wicked mate. So, Scottish thistle. And yeah, they are spiky and that. Bloody hell. I mean, I'm assuming it's a Scottish thistle. I mean, it's in Scotland, isn't it? So it's got to be, isn't it? That it is. I'm holding it up. I'm not holding it up. Damn it. I didn't mean holding it up. That is bloody sharp, man. Mm. Scottish thistle. Got blood coming. Pretty sure of it. Surrounded by all the heath and shrubbery. Wicked, mate. This spot's amazing. Honestly, I can't believe it. There's a little <laughs> over yonder. I've just passed it. I can't show you, but just a stunning area. Oh, mate, we've got sheep as well. Might lose myself. Still not got an outfit. I will be getting one at one point just to get closer to nature. Nothing untoward. That's all. Good day. It's Heather, isn't it? I know. I couldn't remember her name. Now I do. Wow. That one's pretty pretty as well. It's like he's been entangled with something else. Beautiful colour, isn't it? In all seriousness. And there's that light. Well, the trail has been fantastic the whole way. It's been flat all the way until now. Look at the state of this thing just going straight up. I gotta tell you as well, there's no way we're getting a drone shot at the top of that, mate. The wind is howling and I'm down here. It's gonna be super intense at the top. It looks like a sweaty steep climb as well. Oh, Got it, mate. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. We're not at the top yet, but uh, sick, man, these views. Gotta say as well, just past the woman, she was telling me, she's like, oh, I've just been to the top. 50 mile an hour winds on the top of the mountain. I think there's some storm coming at the minute. It was supposed to be like two weeks of heat wave, and we've had this sudden storm coming called, I don't know, Marriott or something. I don't know what it's called. Some lady's name. They gave it some stupid name like they always do, but yeah, it's supposed to be quite a big one. There was all rain warnings on the road last night. I thought the Fife Bridge was going to be closed. I was, uh, yeah, flapping a little bit. Warnings of flooding on the roads and such, and yeah, when the weather gets extreme, <laughs> it gets extreme in Scotland, so that's why we've got big winds today. The wind up here is insane, man. It's literally blowing me. I'm having to like lean into it. This is bad news. I'm gonna get down and uh, yeah, I got a plan. Bear with. Well, here's one then. Cutting downhill. Uh, the wrong way, actually. This isn't on my trailer, if I'm honest, but there's supposed to be a waterfall somewhere down here and I'd seen it on a map. And I just wanna go check it out. Thing is, it's only dotted lines that I've got to follow and not much of 
And now I'm coming down here, I'm realising parking ticket I've got is only for two hours for free, but thereafter I could get a ticket. We really need to get a wriggle on. This probably wasn't the best idea, and I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Crap. Oh yeah, because it's not on the beaten track as well. <laughs> Look at the state of this thing. Could actually sink here. You just don't know what's going to happen up here, man. <laughs> Gotta be so careful in Scotland. One false move and you can be like waist deep in a bog. Whew. Wicked, mate. Off the beaten track, away from the crowd. Ba Boom. Right, let's see if we can find this waterfall. It's not supposed to be a massive one or anything, but you know, probably never get a chance to be laugh again to see it. So let's go for Bumbleau. <sighs> wow, gotta tell you, coming down from that hill and away from all that really heavy wind, that's nice. That was it was actually a little bit scary at points. It's probably about some of the most intense wind I've ever experienced in my life. It's pretty bad. Well, it's also bad is this trail here is supposed to be a trail i don't know how much you can see of it but it just looks absolute water bogged there's like pools of water which makes me think <sighs> we're moving into the realms of a bog fest yeah see i knew it look start of the trail's pretty good you're like yeah it's a little bit more it's nothing special boom, boom. bog fest and um, i don't know i'm not feeling it it's a long bloody trail Oh, Good job I got the babies on. All right. Moving into the realms of a mild river now. Just a little stream. Look at this. Oh, this is what's weirding me out. This stuff. I don't know what it is. It's like sand. No way, it is sand. That's a bit mad, isn't it? More than bog, but I didn't expect to see sand up here. <sighs> Weird. It's getting worse. It, it really is. Oh. Mate, look, there's, there's been a lot of brave souls go through this at some point. You can see all the footprints. I shan't be adding to them. Just tethering your way tenuously around the side. And... Yep. Oh, nightmare. We're getting closer to the point where this waterfall's supposed to be. Wicked backdrop of where we've just come from. It's on the other side of the river. I may have taken the wrong turn. I might need to be on that side of the river and I'm not hearing anything. <sighs> Don't like the sound of this. Or the look of it. it. Might not be a waterfall. Damn it! Oh mate, I think that's that Johnny Pulpit thing over there, a little cavey thing. And then somewhere down here is the waterfall. We've definitely come the wrong side of the river. Gutted. Ah, I might cut back. Oh my days, I've just checked all the way back and all the way round. There's a blooming trail there. Two ladies told me I couldn't get round this way, but evidently you can. But oh my goodness, wait till you get a load of this. Oh, look at this area. It's just so pretty. Wow. And I'm guessing that is the Glenvale waterfall. Beautiful. Look at this little thing here as well. Nice, and another one over here. Boom, mate's three. Oh wow, pretty picturesque and a beautiful little spot. Boom, the Denver waterfall. Sight to came down to try and find this, and found it. Happy days, mate. We are going to get a ticket though. If someone comes round. It's already two hours. The same. Not being funny. This little spot's got bivy bag camp written all over it. Oh, but the only thing I didn't bring with me, to be honest. Got fresh water as well. Just filter it out. What a little spot. Brilliant. From here though, I think my trail's gonna slowly start cutting back towards a crib. Hopefully I can find it. Uh, dotted lines on a map, so whoa, we'll see how we go with that. For now, I think I'll catch you back at the crib. What a day. Good start, mate. Beautiful area. Dang, 
when a five mile scheduled hike turns into an eight mile hike. I am exhausted. I can't wait to get some scran on. I'm only about five minutes away from the crib and I've got my fingers crossed I haven't got a ticket. I'm about an hour overdue. Could be a bit of a stinger to get an 100 pound ticket slash 60 pound ticket on the first day. Just saying. Well, there's no one around. Nah, ticket wardens. There she is. I'm honestly paranoid, man. It's, it's been on my mind for about the past hour and a half. I've been kind of trying to rush back and yeah, I think that's why I'm so baked. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> happy days. Nothing to see. Ah, oh, man. i got to say it, you know. It's been two and a half years we've been doing this car camping. Possibly a little bit less, possibly a little bit longer. And I still love it to bits, mate. It's wicked. Just coming back from a hike, getting back in the crib, putting the kettle on for a brew, setting up a bit of feed and then chilling out. Yeah, mate, it's wicked. Football's on in two hours. Got my team playing. I know there's a spot down the way where I'm going to be able to chill out for the night with a full phone signal and enjoy it. Mate, it ain't all about the money. It's about the lifestyle. It's about getting out and putting a damn fat smile on your face. And today's done exactly that. It's been blessed. I'm nearly in tears, mate. I'm so happy. But before I get too teary, I think this is gonna be a good point to end the episode. I'm gonna be heading up into the heart of the Cairngorms tomorrow, hunting out big styling mountains and some legendary car camping spots up there. But for now, I think this is gonna be the best point to end this one. I really genuinely hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely admit in them comments. And as always, a big love to everybody who watches the channel, subscribes, comments and likes. And a massive big love, heartfelt to all channel members, donate us on PayPal and me, buy me a coffee. Thank you guys. As always, you know, you know, take it easy. Enjoy the camp. Scotland, we're coming at you and stay stealthy. All right. <laughs>